I thought some of you guys and girls might be interested to see uh, my brooder box set up. It's simply an old chest freezer, non-working chest freezer, um, that I removed the lid. And as you can see, it makes a pretty good brooder box. I usually keep sand uh, for the litter. And when they're, these, these are day old chicks. I just hatched, these just came out of the incubator. Um, so I'll usually put a newspaper or paper towels down over top of the sand a substrate there. But I always run two heat lamps um, for two reasons. One, I can keep one lower and the other higher for fluctuations in temperature. Um, and the big reason is if one of them, one of the lamps, the bulbs blows, I still got the other one working so my chicks don't freeze. Um, as you can see, they're on chains. And I have like a, like a carabiner clip there that I can adjust the height. Um, I really like raising chicks in the dead of winter because you, it's cold and you just put the heat to them. Um, in the spring of the year, like, you know, late April, May, it gets cool at night, but then warm in the warm in the daytime. So you're playing musical heat lamps a lot of times. Um, but this setup, like I said, this is in a building, so this setup is really really nice. There's not a whole lot to catch fire if one of those heat lamps would uh, somehow fall down. Yeah, it might light that newspaper on fire, but it's in a uh, since it's in an old chest freezer, it's not really flammable material. Um, so this this is a pretty good setup for a for a brooder. I actually have this divider too. Um, that if I have two different age classes in there, and I wanna I want to uh, kind of get them used to each other, um, I'll put that in there and uh, let them let them look at each other through that chicken wire. For a while, and then they, they get used to they get used to being around each other. Um, yeah, these are. I got some. There's three well summers that hatched. I don't know if my roosters weren't doing real well or not, and uh, fertilizing the eggs, and the rest are just kind of mutt free range bantams. Um, there's bantam barred rock in them. Um, Mill floor, dew clay, porcelain dew clay, uh, some model coaching. So yeah, they uh, it's it's a pretty good surviving wild. They're, they are darn near wild. A lot of the parents of these grew up, you know, grew up in the wild that a hen hatched them. But you can see the the bantams are a little older than the. the the uh, well summers came out a little bit later, a couple hours later or 12 hours later or whatever, and they are still, they're younger and they're a little bit sleepier yet. The, the mutt bandoms are doing well. This is a, that guy has a uh, lavender. He has a lavender gene. He must have got that from a porcelain dew clay. But he's going to be a pretty, or she's going to be a pretty chick. All right, I just wanted to show you uh, what I use for a brooder box. It works out pretty darn good. Uh, it's real easy to clean, too. I want to add this. I forgot to mention this. I just have a small, flat snow shovel. It's like almost like a kid's snow shovel. Um, and you just use that flat shovel to dig out the, dig out the litter. And it, it's, it's simple to clean. Some people were, when I had the idea, they're like, oh, you're never going to be able to clean that. But... Nothing could be further from the truth. It, uh, it's real easy to clean. All right.